Hello, welcome to a new Trimble Site Vision tutorial video. Today we're going to take a look at the Plane app, which is new in version 2. The Plane app is accessed through the Central Apps button. To create a plane, tap the app icon to measure the first point. For best accuracy, we recommend using GNSS measurement mode with Site Vision mounted on a pole. You will see a flat, square plane is created centered on the point you measured oriented in the direction you're facing. A pinch and zoom gesture can be used to increase or decrease the size of the plane. Tapping on one of the blue grips will highlight that edge. You can then drag individual edges of the plane in or out to adjust the extents if needed. A vertical offset can be input into the left hand design panel. This will adjust the plane up or down from the measured position. You can also specify an absolute elevation by inputting this directly into the elevation field. Once you're satisfied with your plane design, tap the tick icon to complete the workflow. This will save the plane as a DSZ file, which can be synchronized to Trimble Connect or taken straight into your Trimble machine control system via the File Flipper app. In addition to creating a simple flat plane, Site Vision also lets you design a sloping plane. This can be helpful for drainage requirements or even construction of a ramp. So create a plane as before by measuring the first point. Then walk to a second location, tap the plus icon and you will be prompted to measure a second point. After you take your second measurement, your plane will be extended to reach this point and reoriented so that it forms a sloping plane that passes through both of your measured points. You can see the grade and cross slope fields are now visible in the left hand design panel. These values can be adjusted by tapping on the corresponding blue grips and swiping up or down or by directly inputting a specific value. If you do make a mistake during this process, double tapping on the app icon will delete the plane and restart the workflow. As before, once you're satisfied with your design, Tap the tick icon to complete the workflow. Make sure to check out our file flipper tutorial video to see how to get this design straight onto your Trimble machine control system.